Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Keep Gaming Podcast. This is episode 33. I'm your host, Looney Evans Jr., and I'm joined by the entire cast. Johnny, what is going up? Good morning. I knew it. I knew it. That's why I went with him. We had the freaking Thank you for having me. Why would you go to me first? Because that's why you put the can. I wanted to get you. You were not paying attention. (laughs) And for the listeners, John had the can in his hand, so I had to call him out. And then we also have Miyamo CG. What's going on, brother? Yo, what up? Let's get this money. Last week you were sick. How you feeling? It's been a week. I feel great. You know what I'm saying? I lost like 13 extra pounds. (laughs) (laughs) And we're also joined by Paulful. What is going on, girl? Not much. I'm here. We're doing this. <laughs> Have fun. <laughs> so See, now to- I'm going to take a drink. Yeah, there you go. So today we are talking about everything Rockstar and their whole breakdown from be- from the launch of the GTA Trilogy Definitive Edition up until this point. It's been almost three days now since the release of the game and you are not allowed to play the GTA trilogy on pc although you're able to play it on consoles but there's been a lot of chaos going on in the pc world the launcher just came up for all the other games but not for the trilogy so i want to dive into this we're going to start with you john i know you're not a fan of this i know you said your piece even on twitter and and your streams what are your thoughts on what's going on right now Fuck rock stars. Um, okay. No, like all jokes, all jokes aside, though, like the truth of the matter is that it, it's, I think it's stupid as hell. I personally, not, not that it's stupid as hell, I personally don't see the point of the remaster because the remaster itself that they did, though, it looked good to be remastered. It looked good because it was updated. But at the same time, though, too, it just looks like it looks like crap. Like I really think that it doesn't, it's not something that's interesting to me at all. The free version on the Xbox, I may play it because it's free. But okay. paying full price for it, though, I can't understand that, in my opinion. At the same time, though, um, the fact that it's not available on PC, new rock, uh, not available on PC, Rockstar has dropped the ball hard on that because oh, yeah. there is no reason for that, especially on PC, where you can literally get the game for free if you wanted to, if you download a hacked version of it. Like that. They literally have mods that you can buy GTA, any version of it, and mod the shit out of it. The one community you should not be screwing over right now, the one community you should not be you know, missing out on is the PC community. They are your biggest seller of of of, of um, any of the GTA series. games. Yeah. Like the GTA series only is around because of the fact that people use the PC game. They use GTA Five to mod it to do role play communities. Everything yeah. else too. That's your literal. That's your biggest seller is your PC community. And the one place that you do not focus on is the PC because you end up screwing that shit up. You you failed. That that's like the worst thing you could have done. That would be like literally like Microsoft dropping the ball on Xbox or something. You don't do it. Like there are certain things you just need to focus on. And I could, I would faster understand it and respect it if they had screwed up and they delayed the launch on PlayStation or on Xbox rather than on PC because PC is where your gamers are for GTA. That's where the community is. That's where your love is. People are going to play it on any system they can, but PC is the one place you should have focused on. And that's my that's my fact on that one. But. Well, what are your thoughts? I, I, hold on, Joey, be sneezing like an old man. Bless you, you good? (laughs) I thought I I was the old man of the group. (laughs) Nah, he took it. Um, I agree a lot with Johnny, uh, especially, like he said, if, that the PC community is just the number one community for GTA, for Rockstar, for, please, I swear to God, Joey. Absolutely not. Get out. <laughs> For those that don't know, Paul Fong's fiance is having a sneezing attack. And now he's blowing his nose. This is great. Just have him come on camera. Let him, let's get his thoughts too. Just, 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 just come on camera. Come on. They're calling you out now. Oh. <laughs> it's just, you don't want me to have my, my time right now. Um, but yeah, I think they dropped the ball. I mean, to delay PS4 and Xbox, I feel to have the PC launch be available, be better, more smooth and everything. Even I would have preferred that they would have done PC first before Switch too. Okay. Because I, you know, like, I feel like a lot of us are going to agree. You don't think GTA and Switch, like, I think mm-hmm. they should have it on there. I think it's a cool step forward for them. But like, if they had to choose 
PC or Switch first, I would have preferred PC. Okay. That's just my little takeaway for it. I'm going to give my takes before I hand it over to Chris. Because I know Chris, he, he has <laughs> things thing. to say. Yeah, He's the only one out of the group uh, that is playing on PC. I started playing day one GTA 3 uh, on my PlayStation 5. And right away, I already felt that there were a lot of issues. One, they didn't give any codes to anyone to review this game prior to the drop. So right there, that was a red flag. Then, we didn't get no gameplay trailers. That was another red flag. I initially wasn't interested in the game until Chris got really hyped for it. And I'm like, you know what? Let me step back. Let me take a second look. And I said, you know what? I like the nostalgia. Let me dive into it. This is an old game, especially DJ, D, the GTA 3 was released in 2001. That's 20 years ago. Let me get back into it and let me revisit what it was for me as a 14-year-old playing on PS2. So I'm playing the game right away. The audio is bad. Secondly... Uh, the graphics, they look good, but it wasn't anything that was mind-blowing. I played other remasters that it was mind-blowing. Now, getting into the game, playing it for a little bit, I said, this is good. I'm okay with this. But then I heard that people on PC were not able to play it, and I immediately, I immediately thought of Chris. Chris was in my chat when I was live, and he and other PC players didn't have the opportunity to play this. This is bad on Rockstar. I felt like this was rushed. They were not prepared for this. It was like they were trying to buy time for GTA 6. So they said, Let, let's just sprinkle some stuff on these three titles, push them out, and let people just have a nice day. As you can see on the PCN, the launcher has been down. They re the, the launcher being down, they didn't allow any of their titles, Rockstar's titles, to be played. They initially got it back up last night, but the trilogy wasn't available. And it's still not available to this day, Saturday, December, uh, November 12th. And this is causing an issue. So I feel they weren't ready and they weren't prepared. This is bad on Rockstar. Chris, you have the floor, sir. <sighs> All right, look, I was gonna I was gonna mute my mic real quick. So Chris can, uh, <laughs> first things first, I still want to play the games. Mm -hmm. I still believe they're classic games. Everybody that I've seen play it, they have been enjoying the nostalgic aspect of it, which mm -hmm. I know I will personally. Yeah. Um outside of that, fuck you guys. Suck my Mother fucking ball sack. Fuck you guys. I, 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 I pre-ordered this shit a month in advance. And how dare you not even give me the fucking option to pre-download a game that I pre-ordered. I paid money for this. And you don't even give me the option to pre-download the game, which usually is an option, right? You only made it available on your launcher, which then all of a sudden goes down. I woke up at 5 o'clock in the morning, turned my PC on, said, you know what? The game dropped today. Let me go and download it real quick. Sure, it's not even available till 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Cool, whatever. I'll go to work. I'll come home. I'll download it when I come home from work. I go to I come home from work. The launcher's down. Then the only update we got is oh, the services are down. No, nothing else for a whole day. Next morning, five o'clock, we get another update. We're working on it. Thank you for your patience. I don't have no patience. I want my fucking game that I paid for. You fucking idiots. Excuse my language. I don't curse this much, but they pissed me off. I'm sorry. All right. I kept my cool on stream. I, I improvised. I had a whole plan for this entire weekend to play through the fucking games with no cheat codes and, and be myself on stream playing these games, these classics. And you guys fucking ruined it. Suck my balls. All right. Suck my ass. And now I'm not horny for this game anymore. That's it. Oh you know, it got so bad. God. I think that Chris like threatened to actually go outside and do GTA in real life. Like he was like, "I need to get get him in. I'm about to go rob some old lady from the car." Like, like, yo, listen. So nobody bad. understands oh how pissed off I am at this because I was legit one of the only people in this panel that was super excited mm -hmm. about this game. You were. And you as were. soon as the 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 game went on sale, I literally bought it. I said, "You know what? You I did. want it. I'm buying it. Pre ordered. Let's get it." The launcher was working perfectly fine that day to take my fucking money. <laughs> But now it doesn't want to work all of a sudden because somebody on your side decided to, to shit the bed and put the uh, uh, music that you guys no longer had licenses to into the game, which is why it's still not available, even though the launcher is working, right? So not only did you screw the people that bought the game and wanted to play it, you screwed everybody else that played Red Dead Online, played Grand Theft Auto V, any other games that were on your stupid launcher. They couldn't even play the story mode to those damn games. You know how crazy that is that? you have to be online in order to play an offline game 
Why do I have to be online on your stupid launcher for your game to work offline? Cut it out. Fix your fucking system or go back to just Steam, you idiots. There you go. <laughs> no, I, I, it's over. I don't know how we top that, but I do... Uh... I do want to say this before we end because we're going to go into our post show. We're going to talk a little bit more about this title and all the other titles along with the trilogy and how they look. Uh, there's been a lot of controversy on if they actually remastered this game. Some people have even posted photos of modded uh, GTA 3, Vice City, and San Andreas that looked so much better. Meanwhile, you paid a company yeah. to do it and they didn't do much. So... Uh, if anyone here all i could say is i'm glad i waited to order the game <laughs> i was just gonna get into that if anyone here was to get more information prior to the release let's say they waited a couple more months would it have changed your mind we saw like gameplay or something like that would it have changed your mind of purchasing this game rather than the route that they went as far as promoting it you know do you feel like their promotion helped or made it worse i want to start with you john with that i think people just bought it because of the fact that people just bought it on the idea of nostalgia yeah, and that's what it comes down to is the fact mm -hmm. that they brought it on the idea of what the game is as opposed to what they could have been. Um, because no matter what they would have shown me for GTA 3, like, I mean, somebody like Chris, for instance, and Chris loves GTA. Like, mm -hmm. it's 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 100%. Like, we all have our games, our game series that we, we love and we will defend to the end. Mm -hmm. And now with Chris, though, too, they could have just literally re-released it for a new system. With not even really updating anything, and Chris would have bought it right. day one, absolutely. And that's because mm -hmm. people that love GTA series and love GTA originals are going to go out and buy it. Mm -hmm. So, I think that you have those people that are going to buy that would have bought it no matter what if they would have released more footage for it, even less footage for it, whatever it is. But the only thing that would have stopped people is the modded community because the modded community they probably didn't even buy this to begin with because of the fact that, that you said you get better mods anyway for all this shit to begin with. Mm -hmm. Um, but for somebody like me who is not really heavy into it, like I loved it, I love the series, but I'm not heavy into the games where I'm like, I need to get it. I own GTA five on like five systems. I never touch it. So GTA three, if they would have showed me graphics such as next level graphics, where they would have remastered it and they would have made it like a modern GTA, where I could pay 60 bucks, just get it. I don't have to download a bunch of packs, everything else to you. I don't have to have it on PC and I have that same option on PC or Xbox. I might have gotten it. I might have been like, you know what? It looks good. It's still original. It gives me the original story with next gen graphics. I'll go drop the 60 bucks. I'll get a day one release, whatever it is. But just the fact that they, they showed you even any kind of footage they did show you where they just literally, when you look at the gameplay in the trailer, is that they look totally different compared to what gameplay is compared to what the trailer showed you. Because somebody had said Snapchat filters. That's what the trailers look like. Mm -hmm. And and it looked great, but it wasn't enough for me to go out there and purchase it regardless. So, I mean, if they would have shown gameplay footage, I probably would have boycotted it mm -hmm. altogether as opposed to just not getting it. But Fofa, what are your thoughts on how they promote it? What do you think they could have done better? Everything. Um, <laughs> I feel like I agree with Johnny 100%. Like, I, when we originally talked about it being released and that the remaster was coming out, I think I was, like, on the edge. I was like, oh, I'll probably buy it maybe later on. Uh, Cause I know Joey and I are going to enjoy it. I knew ahead of time anyway, regardless of how well this launch was going to go that like, I was going to play Animal Crossing. Let's like, let's be real. That's mm -hmm. my game. That's my shtick. Um, but seeing how frustrated Chris and a lot of other people are with this game, how it doesn't look that great. It kind of puts me on edge to be like, I'm just going to wait until mm -hmm. maybe it gets better because yeah. it's, it doesn't feel complete. Yeah. I you know what I mean? Like, like it yeah. doesn't, it feels subpar mm. to pay 60 bucks for three games that aren't really well remastered. Mm -hmm. And like, oh, what if Joey wanted it on PC? Well, that's out the window for now. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you, know, you know, because it's like, great, I have to get it on a system if he wants to play it right now, or I'm going to have to just wait and hope that they fix the issue. So right. that's kind of, I'm just not going to get it anytime soon. It's just the truth. Yeah, I was going to add to that, saying that, I, again, and I mentioned this earlier, their promotion wasn't well received, nor did they put any effort, I don't think. And that's what had me on edge. But if it wasn't, like I said, if it wasn't for Chris's excitement, I probably wouldn't have taken a second look. And I am a fan of GTA. I love those games. I love GTA Five. I beat it twice because I had it for PS3, and then I rebought it again for PS4. And that series is great. And I, like I mentioned earlier, too, it's like, 
this was just a filler and they really dropped the ball on this it's so sad because there is a huge community for the gta series and mm -hmm. they should have did something for those fans especially making us wait three generations for another gta right you know and that's what's so upsetting chris what we'll ended with so, you what were your thoughts on how they promoted this i, I was going to say the only thing that i will do in defense of Rockstar, is mm -hmm. they never promoted this as a full blown remaster of their game. Well, um, when you put remastered, you're assuming they, that... they never put remastered. That's it's on there, no? Never... It's the definitive edition. They Bro, literally... I swear, I'm gonna look it, up an it's image. basically them making it uh HD. They made the old game HD. They never said they were remastering the actual game. I think people just ran with remaster because that's what they thought it was. Okay, they've never promoted it as a full blown remaster. So I will defend them in that sense because they did promote it as a definitive edition, which they've done before, I think, with Bully to make the game look HD. Um, so that's basically what they did with these three games. They made them the HD versions of what the old ones were, which is what it looks like. It looks like the colors are different. It looks like different shaders and different all the stuff like that. It's not a remaster of the games. It's literally just the old games with an HD filter on it to make it look better for, you know, right now. That's well, all shit, it is. They got me then. They, they you know what I'm me. saying? I think people people in the community got so hyped and they're like, oh, it's the remaster. It's the... It wasn't a remaster. Yeah. It never was promoted as a remaster. People just put remaster behind it for some reason. Yeah, and it's did. only a definitive edition. It's just to be HD. So they promoted it as such. It's just they dropped the ball on putting it out the proper way for everybody to play it on launch day, which is the most frustrating part. So, I mean, they didn't do a bad job because they did make it HD. I mean, you've played it yourself. Yeah. It looks better. No, it does. Uh, they they upgraded the, yeah. you know, the, the weapon wheel stuff. They did the stuff that they needed to do. It's just they didn't make it available to everybody the way they, it was promised. That's all. That's the biggest issue I have with them here. So. All right. So we're going to end it here, guys. I want to thank you all for being here. Remember, if you don't have time to watch us live on twitch.tv slash keep gaming podcast, you can watch us on YouTube. Just search Keep Gaming Podcast. We drop a new episode every Monday. Also, be on the lookout. We're going to be dropping a reaction video. Johnny, Miyamo CG, and I, we watch the teaser trailers to Disney Plus of Moon Knight, uh, Secret Invasions, Miss Marvel, and She-Hulk. So check that out. Also, this Sunday, we are dropping our first Keep Gaming Podcast sports edition. Myself, Miyamo CG, and Kevin, we're going to be talking about the midseason for the MVP of the NFL, so check that out. And we're also going to be diving to other things wow. moving forward, so be on the lookout for this stuff. Again, if you don't have time to watch us, you can listen to us wherever we get your podcast. Just search Keep Gaming Podcast. We're going to move on to the post show. Again, if you're here live with us, you want to stick around, ask questions, make some statements, and we're going to talk about it. I want to thank you all for being here, and until next time, keep gaming. Peace. Peace.